What if I told you that one of the most influential horror movies of all time almost disappeared? Almost lost to desperate attempt to keep it from being released to the public. And the only reason that it saved was because of an accident. The horror film, of course, we're talking about is 1922's Nosferatu. It was based on Bram Stoker's Dracula and Florence Stoker, Bram Stoker's widow, attempted to stop the release of the movie and did stop the release of the movie. She won a lawsuit to stop the movie from being available. And the only reason it's still available is a copy was misplaced in a theater. So let's take a look now at the great film Nosferatu. In Nosferatu, the plague is a metaphor for the condition that Orlok, also known as Dracula, causes when he goes to the small town of Wiesborg near Bremen, Germany, and settles in. He attempts to seduce Ellen, the wife of Hutter. Ellen sacrifices herself to save the rest of her town and the man she loves, her husband. In Nosferatu, Orlok is closely associated with death, decay. And this is why he carries and spreads the plague. So people are dying not just of the plague, but from contact with Orlok. Orlok isn't a suave vampire played by Bela Lugosi and even to an extent by Christopher Lee. Instead, he is a rat-like creature carrying disease and death for all who encounter him. Like the plague, vampirism is sped through contact. And indeed, probably vampirism is based on people who died from contagious diseases. Not the plague quite as much as tuberculosis, which if you look at the case of American vampires, they're usually tubercular deaths. When Nosferatu was made, tuberculosis was still common, and the world had just gone through an epidemic of the Spanish flu. And I think to us now, that look at vampirism feels real because we've just gone through a similar epidemic that caused a lot of pain for all of us. I'm sure that like all of us during the time of the epidemic, people felt isolated from each other. They felt alone. They didn't get to do the things that they wanted to do. And this is why Nosferatu, once again, is a story for our time, much more than Dracula was. Nosferatu speaks to us and what we've been through. So when it comes out in December, I'm really excited to go take a look and see what the newest remake of Nosferatu looks like. It's a powerful film. And so it's a story that continues to speak to all of us. If you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. Also, there will be links to Amazon affiliates that are available for the title we've talked about.